Jonah, Jonah chapter 1. And the word of Yahuwah came to Jonah, son of Amatha, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, the great city, and cry out against it, for their evils have come up before me. But Jonah rose up to flee to Tarshish from the presence of Yahuwah, and went down to Yapho, and found a ship going to Tarshish. And he paid the fare and went down into it to go with them to Tarshish from the presence of Yahuwah. And Yahuwah sent out a great wind on the sea, and there was a great storm on the sea, so that the ship was thought to be broken up. And his seamen were afraid, and each one cried out to his mighty one, and threw the cargo which was in the ship into the sea to lighten the load. But Jonah had gone down into the lowest parts of the ship, and he lay down and was fast asleep. And the captain came to him and said to him, What do you mean, sleeper? Arise, cry out to your Elohim. So if so be that Elohim shall think about us, so that we do not perish. And they said to each other, Come, and let us cast lots, so that we know for whose sake this evil has come upon us. So they cast lots, and the lot fell on Jonah. So they said to him, Please explain to us, for whose sake is this evil upon us? What is your occupation? And where do you come from? What is your country? And from what people are you? And he said to them, I am a Hebrew, and I am fearing Yahuwah, and Elohim of the heavens, who made the sea and the dry land. And the men were exceedingly afraid, and said to him, Why have you done this? For the men knew that he fled from the presence of Yahuwah, for he had informed them. And they said to him, What are we to do to you to make the sea calm for us? For the sea was growing more stormy. And he said to them, Take me and throw me into the sea so that the sea becomes calm for you. For I know that this great storm is because of me. However, the men roared hard to bring the ship to land, but were unable, for the sea continued to grow more stormy against them. And they cried out to Yahuwah and said, We pray, O Yahuwah, please let us not perish for this man's life, and do not lay on us innocent blood. For you, O Yahuwah, have done as it pleased you. Then they took Jonah and threw him into the sea, and the sea stopped raging. And the men feared Yahuwah exceedingly, and brought an offering to Yahuwah and made vows. But Yahuwah appointed a great fish to swallow Jonah, and Jonah was in the stomach of the fish three days and three nights. <laughs> 